keep moving on. So this is uh, this is why you guys come here, right? You get some special stuff. This is yeah. It's some special sauce. Some special stuff. So we have a subscriber from Slovakia. Okay. Yes. Now Slovakia is in the EU, normal developed country. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, part of international law, part of the EU, part of mm-hmm. any sort of treaty that they would have. But they operate, just like many places, operate bilingual Chinese schools, right? Not yes. not for Chinese people. It's for anybody that wants to learn Chinese. Yeah, right? it's, so it's of a course. High school. So you go to high school in Slovakia. Look, it's targeted at the students in that country. Yes. So you go to Slovakian school here. You go to the public school, and then you also have your bilingual version. So you go to some classes in Chinese. So you go to yeah, learn Chinese. Chinese right? to, to learn Chinese. Yeah. It's just like if I went to, you know, we do the same thing here in the U.S. with Spanish. Right. Uh, so imagine you have. It's not a Confucius Institute, by the way. Oh, but you know they have gotten rid of a lot of Confucius Institutes. But what they end up doing is they actually retain the same teachers mm. and the same people, and then just bring them in under sure. a different name. Uh, reading through the comments from Poster. Uh, it looks like it's not, though. Okay. But this that's actually makes it even more alarming in some ways. Sure. So this was from their uh, one of their lectures, okay? This is their geography course, right? Yes. In this Chinese. Is, this is geography. So yeah. imagine you go to geography. Don't pay attention to the language. The language doesn't matter. You yeah. go to geography and you have a Chinese teacher, right? She's teaching you geography in Chinese, just yes. the medium of teaching, right? You're in Slovakia, yes. and you're like, okay, what? wonder what geography we're going to learn about. Maybe some topology, and we're going to learn about like the how big Russia actually is or something, right? No. Yeah. What they learned about here was race issues. When were the blacks first brought to America? So imagine this is your textbook, by the way. Yeah. By 1860, the total population of black slaves reached uh, 4 million. How long do black slaves have to work? Uh 16 to 19 hours. Which year, which president signed the Emancipation Proclamation in 1861? It was Lincoln. In what ways does racial discrimination manifest? Uh, Whites think that they're superior to blacks. Blacks have no right to vote. They are paid less than whites. White and black children uh, do not study in the same school. And Ku Klux Klan's uh, killing black people. That's the first praise of geography lesson. That's geography. Interesting. Mm. So, so hmm. Slovakia. Keep in mind, keep in mind a free country. Yes, a free country, a Western country, that is teaching geography. This is geography. This is lesson what, one. Okay, let's, what let's else? Look at lesson two. Okay, lesson uh, two. Drug drug problem. D- drug problem. Okay. Geography. Yeah. Uh, there are a large number of drug addicts in the U.S. By the yeah. way, this is talking about. There are seventy-two million people in the U.S. that have uh, said Use. that they've done drugs once in their life, and that's a quarter of the population. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says drug cons- consumption is staggering, uh, accounting for 60% of the world's, I guess, drug use. Uh, youth are the main group of drug users, six, uh, 18 to 25 years old. That is uh, geography. Geography. This is a fascinating geography. I've learned a lot about geography so far. So what this... hemisphere is America in? You know, like what's the, what are the demographics? You know, what is the, yeah. what's going on here? Let's learn about land masses and tectonic yeah. shifts. Yeah. No. Let's keep looking at geography here. This is, uh, remember, this is a mainland Chinese teacher teaching Slovakian children yeah. um, about U.S., about geography. And this is all about the U.S. Uh, we can look at a, a pie chart of the U, uh, drug ta- use well, in the types U.S. Of, types of drugs. Yeah, types of, you had marijuana, cocaine, now you have hallucinogens. Uh, mm. And a quote from Angelina Jolie, very pertinent to geography. Yes. Uh, what was her geography quote? Mm. It says, I've tried almost every drug in the world. Whether it's cocaine or marijuana, I know what it tastes like. Hmm, interesting. So that's a good geography quote. Very related. What does this have to do with geography? <laughs> let's do it. Let's look at another slide from this geography uh, lecture. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, so the first president of the United States is Abraham Lincoln. Oh, and that's a great segue into the livelihood issues. Okay. Uh, what are the problems in the U.S.? Well, they have high medical insurance costs. I mean, I'll vouch for that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so it goes through all these like bad issues the about bad America, problems of right? America. Was yeah. prob- did they throw homelessness in there? Oh yeah, and gun violence. Oh yeah, stuff, right? yeah, okay. Oh. And it says it's good. Uh, glad they checked all the boxes. Yeah, yeah, high medical insurance expenses. And then at the end, this is my favorite thing. It says, does Slovakia have the same problems? Yeah, does Slovakia have the same problems? So a geography lesson. I mean, there's one more slide, I believe. Okay, yeah, let's just let's, let's round it out so we can actually have a fair view of geography in the world. Oh yeah, oh, here's gun problem. gun problem. Oh, that's geography, right? Yes. Yeah, you know that how Mount Whitney is kind of like shaped in that topographical uh, formation. I think it's from gun violence. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the gun problem. It talks about um, gun ownership and how it's the highest gun rate in the world and why does the gun pr- problem persist here? 
uh, and the first president of the United States to be assassinated. Yeah. Is Andrew Jackson. Yeah. Um, so what we have here is the Chinese government really teaching Slovakian children about why the U.S. is bad in Chinese in a public school and it's in a geography class. Yeah. I mean... Fascinating. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, when I learned geography in school and we learned about China, very little... I, in fact, I don't recall anything to do with politics or, you know, like, issues. We learned about, like, you know... Like you said, topographical stuff, rivers, demographics, yeah. that sort of thing. I don't think these like drug problems and quotes from Angelina Jolie and so on yeah. have anything to do with geography. Yes. I'm just saying. This has nothing to do with geography. It's a very thinly veiled attempt. It's an to, agenda. To, to shit on the U.S. and shit on the West and to further China's interests. Mm -hmm. in separating the uh, Europe from the U.S. That's why you have to be very careful of these uh, Chinese language courses is because it's not about Chinese language, it's about propaganda. And, yeah. you know, the language barrier prevents a lot of people from actually seeing what's being said there. Yes. You know? Yes. Um, it's, it's devastatingly stupid. Yes. It's I... like if you do an English teaching course in China and all you go on about is like, the Tiananmen Square and yeah. all the Falun Gong and all this. It's the only thing you talk about. Yeah, it's yeah. not about anything. And it's in a class about math. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's, it's, yeah, it's a math calculus class. today. Now look at this square, Tiananmen Square. <laughs> exactly. The angle, if you calculate the angle, the tanks came in here. <laughs> exactly. No, they didn't even, she didn't even try to do that in this. No. There's no geography. There's no geography at all. <laughs> anyway, yeah. um, what I want to say is some advice here. Mm -hmm. uh, look into this school for sure. Thank you to the person that shared it, uh, yes. the student. I'm sorry you have to go through this shit. Yeah. Sounds like you want to get to Taiwan, which is cool. Yes. Um, you won't have to put up with this. Look into your educational programs about mm. this. Dive into this. Don't be don't be malicious about it, but dive into this and have a look at what the curriculum actually is because mm. it's very, you might find it is very concerning, and I don't care what country you're in. I want you to look into this. I want you to look into your Chinese language programs. They're probably fine. They're probably fine. Probably. But if there's anything alarming like this, definitely bring it up with the education board and stuff. And bring it up with means... the administration. Oh, for if sure. I, if I was learning this in my school, I would very honestly question it. I wouldn't just yeah. take it, okay? I'm not American, mm. but if I see like a very mm. targeted attack on any specific country that's just mm. overboard like this, this is overboard, I would question the value of this education. For sure. And I would go to the administration and be like, hey, why is this being taught? Is there a reason for this? Absolutely not. You know? There's no, I mean, it's a very clear reason. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's figure this out. Let's, let's get to the bottom of this, guys. You guys are a great audience. I know that you guys have a lot of care for what we do and what, uh, you know, the good trajectory the world needs to go in. And mm -hmm. I hope, hopefully, you guys can sort this out. Oh, <laughs> oh,